Alrighty guys, let me get set up here. Just cleaning up the um, the tool pantry because it's been a mess. Here, I'll show you that. Getting stuff cleaned up here, organized. Got my propane for the buddy heater on the far side here with the alcohol. So, getting things a little tidy. But I wanted to open up... Um, one of these Dollar Tree items that I bought quite a while ago. This is a shower curtain liner. 70 inch by 72 inches. I want to see exactly how large this is. And um, I think I bought this uh, for the shower, but there's also uses for if you were bugging out and need a little shelter. This stuff is made to get wet and be wet for long periods of time. Oh, it does come with little grommets and stuff. See how large this is? I don't know exactly if it's that large or not. So I gotta open it up further. It must be because uh, I haven't seen a shower that short in my life. <laughs> okay, it's getting pretty big now. And the temperature's coming up nicely in here. Still working away, cleaning stuff, and listening to the podcast there. Now the only problem with doing this is I get to see how what see what this actually is and see how durable it is. The plastic seems pretty damn durable. It's not that uh, paper thin stuff, and it's pretty large. I'm surprised. That would be a decent cover for. Uh, for a shelter type of thing. That's crazy. Okay. Well, that's the best thing to buy at Dollar Tree for a shelter. Even better than their tarp, I think. You could probably turn that into a greenhouse if you bought a couple of them and hooked them together via these... Uh, I think they got magnets in here. Look at that, guys. Is that a magnet? I'm gonna find out in a second. Give me a piece of metal. It is a magnet. Huh. Magnets on the shower curtain. Okay. That's new. But that's pretty neat. That's uh, well worth a dollar twenty-five. I gotta admit that. That's pretty large. Um, if I stretch my arms out, it's basically that length, and then I'm trapped in behind a saran wrap, vacuum sealed. So that's pretty neat. That is definitely worth it to buy at the Dollar Tree, and I'll show you the label of that thing again. Shower curtain liner, home collection. Durf. That's doubler pour. That's the French version. Shower curtain liner, home collection. <laughs> All right, so I'll just yeah, that's pretty neat. I wanted to open that and see exactly how if that's actually worth any money. So that would be durable, and it's it's pretty light. It's, that's a pretty decent little shelter for keeping rain and snow off you out in this crappy weather anyway. Oh, and we're up to 42 Fahrenheit, guys. You guys see that? There you go. So it's coming up nicely. I think that new fan on the elbow helps quite a bit. 
You guys kind of see it over there. I know I got the pantry kind of in the way of the fire, but the heat's still rising up here and this fan's getting it over to me, so it's working just fine. And uh, no more sooting of the fireplace either, which is nice. So I'm gonna set this guy up, guys, and uh, keep uh, keep on trucking here. Alrighty, guys. I got uh, a lot of stuff cleaned up here. I still got more stuff to go down below here to clean up and sort through and see what I'm keeping. But I'll save that for another time. I found some stuff that's trash that I'm going to get rid of. Got the vacuum ready to go, get loaded. Found some um, tools for my dad I can give him. Um, I'll show you what the temperature is in here. I got the fireplace shut off because uh, we're at 48. Um, I'm pretty comfortable. I don't know why I didn't take my coat off. Uh, I normally do about 40. <laughs> but uh, I'm totally convinced, guys, that this survival blanket is doing its thing. I've never seen the tiny house come up in temperature this quickly, ever, with the fireplace. Normally, it takes... Um, um, a good solid, you know, two hours from dead cold to comfortable. This has cut the time in half. Um, I'm shocked. And I'm not even done yet. So I'm definitely going to continue on once I get more at the Dollarama store when in the springtime when they. I'm going to buy like. <laughs> well, I did. This was one. Uh, what did I what did I use here? So we got one here, two, three, and four. So four packages did um, four packages at two dollars and fifty cents did about three quarters of the tiny house. So as you can see, I didn't go back there all the way because I'd have to move the tote and all that fun stuff so I'm not gonna do that so if I get I'm gonna get at least four more for this side of the tiny house and then I'm gonna buy what um, well, I'll probably just buy ten ten more packs and then that way I can do the entire ceiling and everything when I do it so I moved some stuff around I got the um, that lantern I found in the crawl space moved over there. I kind of cleaned up the top here, guys. I got my charge controllers in the back. I got my switches over here. Um, I don't, uh, I don't know where I'm going to put my new solar wall as of yet. So things are kind of on hold. I got the pantry cleaned up a little bit tidier, as you can see. It wasn't such a mess. And I got that shower um, linen thing there. Um, that thing's pretty impressive for the money you pay for it. Especially uh, on the cheap survival. Um, I'll set it up in here one time. I'll just set it up like an uh, A-frame or something and show you guys once we have some more... Um, once I got some more time. But I still got to go through all this stuff down here. I moved my uh, bucket from the up top here down here and I put all the oil in there. Now a lot of this oil has frozen. So I'm guessing they watered the oil down or something. And maybe that's why it didn't work in my lantern as well. So that's kind of annoying. Oh, I found my notepad, pen and light by the way. Still works beautifully. Um, so, kind of interesting. That's all. Oh, we're up to 50 now and the fireplace is off. I just run and I run the fans, guys, just to, to squeeze all the heat out of the, of the fireplace as I can. So 11.6 Celsius and 53% humidity. Okay, so I'm kind of ti slowly tidying up, getting everything sorted. 
Um, it's quite a job, but uh, yeah, this thing is still kicking out the heat. Take my glove off. Oh yeah, that's still hot. Oh yeah, and Primo's thing's okay here. I'm gonna grab some wire though and just attach this over here to the metal. That way the wire is not gonna touch. So that's what I'm gonna do before I leave and pack everything up. But other than that, guys, things are coming together in the tiny house. I've never had this, I'm just shocked at how well this, uh, this survival blanket, radiant barrier stuff works. The fireplace, this is from dead cold to start, guys. I've never seen it heat up so quickly in here. And it's still crappy, windy out, and uh, kind of doing the freezing rain thing. So, unbelievable. So, um, yeah, if you're on a budget, guys, I highly suggest if you're do, doing a little project build for a house or a shelter or something, definitely include that to go over top your insulation if you can find it. I'm sure you guys can find it. You can get pretty much anything online. But I'm super impressed. And I've only got one wall done. I got the south wall done. That's it. Wait till the whole tiny house is done. Then, then it'll be unbelievable shocking uh, results. But uh, yeah, I, I'm just mind blown right now. So I'm just gonna kind of tidy things up a little bit, head out. Um, I couldn't do, I can't do too much today. It's kind of a crappy day out, but I thought I'd check in on the tiny house. No water leaks, perfect. So, um, yeah, I'll shut it down for now, guys, and uh, talk to you on the next one. So we'll see you later.